Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, I want to make a statement, and no, this is not a rant, far from it. This is just my point of view on what I'm doing in this battle. So it's a little bit of a commentary on, on what I'm doing, and it is playing probably the strongest ship in the game, the Admiral Graf Spee, which is definitely part of the strongest 5.7 cruiser lineup that currently is there, the German 5.7 cruisers. Together with the Admiral Hipper and the Premium, the Prince Eugen, it just absolutely dominates the waves of War Thunder. And why would you want to play anything else? They just have the best firepower and they are decently armored and the secondaries are strong and there is nothing too wrong. Sure, other nations have different flavors and also have some strength, but the ultimate reason why I want to play ships is because of their artillery firepower. I think this is one of those things where it's, it's deeply satisfying playing this ship. I know that it is absolutely horrible for the enemies, but to fire those mighty 11-inch guns is absolutely satisfying. Dropping those huge bombs on enemy light cruisers is... is it's so dirty. Yet it is fun. And so this is now also why I don't care anymore. I, in the past, I was really ranting and, and just uh, pointing out flaws in the design of naval forces. But at the end of the day... Why am I not allowed to be the alpha predator? Why am I not allowed to have a good time? And I think that this is where it comes to an absurd situation where I think that I'm a decent player, right? And uh, I made the mistake of trying to play something else, which sounds obvious because why would you want to play the British cruisers? It's the biggest joke that Gaijin did. End of statement. HMS Kent, HMS London, they are not bad ships, right? It's not that they are terribly designed, but they should have been introduced, what, two, three patches ago? And then the compression at 5.7 does the rest. They are dead content. Not worth playing. Probably never will be. The American cruisers, I still have to play and try the USS Portland. I have no idea how it plays out, but... We will see when I'll play it. The Japanese ships, nothing wrong with the Mogami, probably the Furutaka, the Susuya or the Mikuma. But they have to fight versus this thing? No, <laughs> it's, it's never gonna happen. I enjoy it though. I enjoy just nuking those ships. And I do it with single turret firing, you know, firing the front turret at a ship, firing the rear turret at another ship, doing considerable amounts of damage with the stock HE shell. So it is not just satisfying to, to kill ships, it's also the way how you do it. You don't have to rely on, you know, hitting the magazine down to RNG with, you know, the, the dispersion. No, it's just whittling them down, a single shell costing an enemy cruiser somewhere between 10 and 30% of its crew, depending on where it hits, it, it causing flooding, fire, and just nuking their firepower. It's, it's so satisfying, so cool to sit here on the, on the, not receiving end, but the giving end, you know, 11 inch guns. The gift that keeps on giving. The other thing is, I put a talisman on the ship. Why? Because... Why not? I still need to research, what, nearly 500,000 RP worth of ship. You know, there is the Leipzig that costs me 220,000 RP. And then also the Köln class, the F220, that also costs 270,000. So that is, what, 490,000 RP. Should I really try to do this with, with playing the Tech 3 ships? No, I don't need to play ships at all, but I want to enjoy ships because at the end of the day, I really think that there is so much done well in naval forces, yet a few things are really screwing up for the rest. Again, I'm not ranting here, but just answer me the simple questions. 
why should I care? It's not my job. At the end of the day, I'm just a player. I'm just a YouTuber trying to have a good time. Then why would you want to play anything but this? Because it is a really iconic ship. It is a cool looking ship. And it is just in the situation that it was historically designed to do. To really shoot up cruisers light cruisers heavy cruisers alike staying at distance being angled that was more or less what the ship was designed to do and it does it it does it that it is completely unbalanced that the enemy nations have no counter that you spawn in situations that are completely unhistorical yes true that but that is war thunder for you again c.1 why should i care I gave a lot of feedback in the past. I played everything. I tried out everything. I wanted everything to work. Every nation to be competitive. <laughs> okay. But nothing has really changed. Gaijin has made a lot of changes throughout the patches to naval forces. And there were improvements here and there. But the overall picture wasn't really fixed in any way shape or form i gave feedback to maps nothing has changed and the new maps that arrived all the same all the same style i don't like it there is another thing uh, that i just wanted to point out here let's have a look at this so as you can see in the bottom left corner there is now another thing i'm just launching here in a reserve patrol boat and i'm bailing out and i'm leaving the match right at the start after the third time that i leave this ship and that was because i got the map south quarven and if you look here at the map filter i disliked and banned this map as often as i could right expanding all my dislikes and and bans on one map and i got it anyway and i didn't get it just once i got it twice in a row and i think over a quarter of the 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 maps that i got was south quarum despite me disliking it why should i rant why should i just break out in tears and just shout at gaijin and curse them no just simply leave the map it is my will to just not play this map. Gaijin gave me an opportunity to download this map. Yet I get it all the time. The other thing is that the feedback that I gotten upon my feedback is that it is one of many sources of feedback that Gaijin is receiving. Which is, again, you know, completely understandable and uh, I have no problem with. However, apparently the rest of the community thinks completely differently about certain aspects of naval forces and apparently everything is fine and dandy everything works as intended and the maps are just fine i'm just you know not the majority when it comes to the opinion so why should i fight against the community why should i fight against gaijin why should i just uh, you know spend too much time when it doesn't give me anything why should i feature naval forces i just want to also bring your attention to one fact i'm a youtuber that features naval forces because there are aspects that i truly truly love about it and uh, it is as i said deeply deeply satisfying to play this ship and to just nuke enemy ships as uh, i'll show you throughout the rest of this match and as you could see to this point it is too it is so fantastic to play the ship so why should i rank i got through the effort of grinding it i got through the effort of, of buying it and you know i made my way towards it am i now the bad guy to enjoy it it's an online game you know and um at the end of the day, whatever Gaijin claims, this is just another game. It is um, a game like none other. It is unmatched in terms of its vehicle variety, its opinions, uh, its uh, options, its possibilities. That is just what I absolutely love about this game. The way that it sometimes feels when, when War Thunder is 
working when Wolf Thunder is just right. It is truly the very best that there is. And it is then completely the, the greatest uh, giver of joy that you can imagine. And, and this is what I'm hungry for, you know, those, those games. Just like this, where you just... Where you are the big guy. I rarely feature this. Very often I try to play the underdog. Very often I just try to make uh, a point and to point out aspects that are wrong. But why should I bother? It's not my job. So here is the fact about, you know, me making never content. Barely anybody watches it. And uh, I don't gain as many subscribers featuring never content as I would do, you know, featuring tanks and or planes. So from a YouTube perspective, it is illogical to play this game mode. But this is not my job. And I'm also not depending on YouTube. My YouTube channel, its inherent point of existence is to share my knowledge about the game and to share with you some of the greatest games that I had. And ultimately, a game like this is supposed to be fun. And if it's not for you, then stop playing it. If it is just not what you want to see in the game, then just play, then just play something else. But here is a problem. I invested so much time and money and effort, not just into the game, but also on my YouTube channel, that there is just this, this, this feeling of, of wasting if I wouldn't really continue doing so. But then it comes down to how you approach the certain things, you know. Just play it and just have fun, you know. It's not my job to be responsible for balance. It's not my job to be responsible for the lack of balance and um, the map design economy whatsoever about the results later on oh boy you will love it so do i now get dislikes from the community for saying it's not my job i just want to have fun do i get dislikes for playing this ship because it's overpowered yet i you know got through the effort of getting it do i now get dislikes because this is not a I don't know, a, 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 a rant, like some people might expect. I don't know. Let's just publish it and see what comes of it. Again, the next thing is, while I am a content creator, there is no contract between me and, uh, and, and Gaijin. And Gaijin now relies to a certain degree when it comes to, um, you know, the featuring of their game on unprofessionals. Every content creator is, I think, not really a professional one. Yes, they vary with how they approach video making. Some make really excellent editing, etc., etc. But watch this first salvo. Ooh, yeah. I love it. But at the end of the day, we're all non professionals, especially me. Yes, I do it for quite some time. Yes, I've produced uh, over 1,200 videos, but so what? You know, I'm not giving up on level forces. I'm not, you know, uh, not really caring about, but I'm just playing the ships, make my, make my point here, future it maybe here and there, and then leave it be. It's not my job. It's Gaijin itself shooting in their own foot with a machine gun constantly and then wondering why are the player numbers so low why is naval forces not really making you know the income that we calculated for it the spread the excel spreadsheet says people have fun right and yes if you are sitting in an admiral graf spee and you know how to play the game it, it is cool to, to fire those mighty 11-inch guns and, and just to see the, the shells converging over the enemy ship, dropping down and boom, you know, those, those mighty 11-inch high-explosive shells. Again, you could argue that the ship is now in the situation that it was designed to fulfill. Screw up enemy cruisers, shoot them up, destroy them, nuke them, call it what you want. It's right there where it should be. 
but it's right there where it shouldn't be for anybody else. Because this ship, or to be a bit more precise, the rest of the German 5.7 cruiser lineup makes everything else obsolete. It was not my mistake. I warned Gaijin from doing this. I warned Gaijin to introduce ships like these without giving other nations a counter. Nothing happened. Um, you know, I gave so much feedback. For example, I give you one example. The heavy anti-aircraft firepower on ships. You know, those 105s, 100 millimeters. Up, down, uh, up to the 5 inch, you know, the 127 millimeter 38 on American ships in particular, British 120, you name it. They all fire short. You click at an aircraft, you have very good gunners, you have an expert crew, everything is fine, and they're shooting at it. But the AI gunners don't take into account the the drop in muscle velocity or in it, the drop in velocity from the start of the barrel till it reaches the target and also the fall of the shot due to gravity. If the shell would continue its flying path with the same velocity as at the start of the barrel and it just also wouldn't drop due to gravity, it probably would go pretty close to an enemy plane. I made a video about this, gave feedback to Gaijin, because this is not how anti-aircraft firepower works, and nothing happened. I got destroyed numerous times, you know, getting bombed by a high altitude plane, where it was never in danger of getting hit by AA, despite constantly flying at the same speed, same altitude, in a straight line. Why should I care? Not my problem. You know, get nuked and just bail out. Da, 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 da. You know, next match. Try again. My team very often uh, doesn't care about me. Why should I care about my team? It's honorable to be the one that sacrifices himself for the team. That bails out and out of the cruise and goes into patrol boat to capture the point. But why should I care? You know, it's it's... It's my playtime. The ultimate solution is to not play this game. If it is really that broken for so long. But there is no other game like it. And in the majority of things, I love War Thunder. I played for seven game uh, for seven years. This is not something that you would do with a game that is completely unplayable. And there are battle rating sweet spots, sweet spots for nations where you are the absolute king, where you have a good time in the ship plane tank, whatever you want to play. And there is so much variety. We have arcade, we have realistic, we have simulator, we have events. We have, as I said, plane, ships and tanks. Helicopters don't exist, it's a myth of fake news. Why should I care? Why should I hang up myself that Gaijin is screwing up a game mode? Why should I care that they are making uh, dozens of ships irrelevant because one nation at a certain battle rating completely rules? Why should I care? It's not my job. I don't get paid for it. And uh, the feedback that I gave so far from my perspective was fruitless. Why should I care? And why would I want to play something else than this? I put a talisman on it. Again, I have to research here 490,000 RP. You think I want to do this in a ship that is bad? You want to think that I want to uh, play this with a 5.0 cruiser, the Emden, or uh, the Köln, or the Leipzig, or the Nürnberg? Those are great ships. But they always have to fight 5.7s. And at the end of the day, if you play them, you have to fight Prince Eugens, Admiral Grau Spees, and Hippos. You would get yourself into a disadvantage. Why would I do this to myself? Why would I want to uh, make myself, uh, you know, mad? Because at the end of the day, I, I just love it to see the impacts of those great, dirty 11 inch 
high explosive shells on enemy ships and just wrecking them. It's so cool to play this ship. It feels so great. And you still can dis get destroyed for yourself. Again, I'm not the one being responsible for the game being in the state that it is. I wanted it to change for the better. For the American, for the British, for the Soviet nation even, and also for the Japanese nation to be, you know, worthwhile, worth the grind. And also the grind being durable. In my opinion, that's just not the case. The rewards, the stock grind, the map design, the balance, all this is just not where I think it should be. The game is still in development and it is officially in open beta, but it could be done better. But why should I care? Just, you know, pick the flavor of the month and play it because nobody out there cares really. And apparently, when you look at the forums, there are as many people that say that it is broken and unplayable as there are people saying it's great. But there is also the silent part about the community that just makes itself apparent as not being here. Currently, we have a worldwide virus crisis. That's a fact. Currently, the patch is relatively fresh with a new Swedish tank tech tree, right? So we have hit 100,000 players plus um, active players actually on, on Sunday, I guess. And right now, as I am recording this on Friday at 6 o'clock afternoon, we have 88,000 players, active players, currently playing the game. But when I look then into naval forces, the teams are small. The majority or half the team is consisting of bots. You have still nonetheless long queue times. So nobody is playing naval forces. The question is, why? Is it unfun? Why does it matter? Why does it matter that people have fun? Well, because if they don't have fun, why should they play this? And this was a mistake by this player in the door 217M that he actually wanted to dive bomb me because there is this short phase where then the wrongness of the heavy AA gets compensated by the players maneuvering. And this is why I got a free plane kill. Just think about this. So here the video is approaching 23 minutes. Uh, till its end it's like 25 minutes. It's a long battle and this is what I think is great about naval forces that you don't have the battles lasting in the minutes. It's about you know artillery duels that, that require like a quarter minute, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour even. I would love to see this. I know that a lot of people don't uh, think that this is really appealing. But there is a certain amount of people that really think that this is attractive and cool once in a while. And it's just adding to the variety that there is in War Thunder. And yes, the Admiral Graf Spee is more variety. And as I said, it makes so many other ships completely useless, obsolete, worthless. But why should I care? I have the Admiral Graf Spee. And exactly this point of view, to not care, to not give a damn, to be the alpha predator, exactly this is what Gaijin makes their money with. That a game mode is not popular, that queue times are long, at the end of the day it doesn't really matter as long as money is flowing towards Gaijin. Sadly the game mode suffers, sadly a lot of people at the end of the day don't play this then because it is so unfun if they're playing anything else or they want to get their way up to you know this ship to get it is a nightmare to play it is fun and nobody guarantees you that this ship will get completely screwed up next patch Maybe this is the last final patch where this ship is playable because then, I don't know, the Americans get their Alaska or the British get the Invincible or the Soviets get then a ship designed by Wargaming. 
And the Japanese get also some fantasy ship or some ultra battle cruiser with 14 inch guns, you know. But we will see. We will see. Um, it's. I'm kind of curious where this is heading, where this is leading. And at the end, why should I care? So here I, I made a monster game, right? I just had a fantastic game with a lot of kills, uh, with, a, with some assists, I guess, and also with a lot of uh, bot kills. And I think that I had a good in, impact on the outcome of the game. I focused enemy players. I think my aim was really good. I got a lot of kills. I got a lot of rewards. And look at this. One plane, a triple ace, and three bot kills. Now let's have a look at the results. And this is one aspect of Naval Forces that I think Gaijin should really focus on. Because this is a talisman on a tech tree ship and with a premium account. And I think I had a 15% silver line and a 15% RP booster. I also got a talisman on the G91 R3. What a fantastic battle result this is nearly 30,000 modification research points or 26,000 vehicle research points a talisman and then mission maker terror of the sea and survivor those are the epic awards i really want to get as my battle results but only 107,000 civil lines for 15 ship kills three bot kills a plane a victory on a premium account? That is bad. 34,500 ship damage. Easily first place. 4,446 score points. I did more damage to the enemy navy than the rest of my team combined. I also got more kills than they got probably combined. This is a fantastic, or as many, player kills this is absolutely fantastic why would you play anything else but this ship i think that's the problem of naval forces why would you play anything else and that's it for me today so thanks for watching thanks for listening please give this video a like with it subscribe if you want to see more and as usual we'll see each other on the battlefields in the skies and on the waves of war thunder